Well, the Institute of Maritime Law here at the university has been engaged with the law surrounding marine autonomous systems now for the better part of a decade. And that includes everything from smaller scale autonomous underwater vehicles like this one here, like this replica model, right the way up to full-sized unmanned cargo carriers. The current international regulatory framework is based around seafarers, the idea that people are in control of the ship. They don't contemplate the idea of these ships, these craft being controlled and navigated by computer algorithms, but that's the reality. And the interesting legal questions are how the current regulatory framework is adapted and how it can evolve to meet this disruptive technology. And that's something that the Institute has uh, been engaged with, with a number of industry stakeholders, and that's something it continues to work on, both domestically and internationally. Southampton, particularly on the marine side, is uniquely equipped to explore these technical innovations. Right here in Southampton, we have the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency. Over at Boldwood, we have our innovation campus with Lloyd's Register. We have the National Oceanographic Centre. So within the, within the same square 10, 15 miles, we have the marine regulators, the surveyors, we have the makers of automated technology, and we have the users of this technology as well. I, I don't think another institution in the world, academic or otherwise, can say the same.